And this is Max. Go lay down. Down. Good boy. Anywho, I asked a few of you guys, that, well, I asked everyone on my Instagram if you wanted to see an old Navy haul. And as you can see, I am out of my bedroom. And for some reason, the video is no better. Ever since I updated my Mac, don't do it. I know you want to do it, but don't do it. Because I updated my Mac, now nothing works. My external hard drive doesn't work. I lost everything. All the software I had, my logic, my... Um, what's my video editing software? All of it. It's gone. <laughs> really expensive stuff, too. I mean, I've spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on some of these things. And they are gone. Now, mind you, I haven't used most of that stuff since college. But regardless, it was mine. How did I update and all of a sudden nothing works anymore? So I have to rebuy it? <sighs> woo-sa, woo-sa. Anywho, so I bought a bunch of stuff from Old Gravy, I mean Old Navy, and I honestly am not really an Old Navy shopper, but I did just need some shirts to get me through, because if you guys can't tell, I have gained a lot of weight, so I don't want to buy a bunch of expensive stuff, and then I finally lose the weight, and now i am got all this extra large and large things so I'm gonna go through and show you guys what I got I mean all of this in this big old bag cost me a total of $127 and there's a lot in here so I feel pretty good about that and I'm a pretty frugal kind of gal except when it comes to makeup and I still really bargain shop something serious so anywho let's jump right into it and this is my new basement, mind you. It's pretty cool. Maybe I'll do like a My Cribs tour. Just kidding, because this is the only nice part. <laughs> Everything else is still being worked on. Shirt number one. Can I just say one thing before I show you guys these shirts? I have literally not worn any of this stuff because I wanted to show you guys first. <laughs> I don't even want to take it out of the bag. I, so I don't even remember what I bought at this point because it's been like a week and a half. Excuse me, lay down. Hey, he wants to smell the shirt. Go lay down. Thank you. <laughs> He's funny. So here is, it's like a sheer button up kind of deal. I would probably wear it open with a nice camisole underneath. So I think that it's pretty cool. This cost me $15. And again, I bought most of these things in like extra large so that I had a little room in them. I need a little room. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This shirt here is a similar material, but it is in a hello, hello. I hate so far. You know, I'm just gonna let him sniff. And so we have this in it has a lot of coral navy blue, which I'm really into these days. The pink and navy back up. The pink and navy blue kind of deal. So it's really nice. Also sheer, I would probably rock a cami underneath this. Another button up type deal. Also $15. Okay. And I just dropped something on the floor, which I'm sure it's not necessary. Got a t-shirt here, v-neck. A lot of these shirts were either like $6.99, $7.99, or $8.99. So everything pretty much is under $10. This, this retails for $9.50, so I may have paid $9.50 for this t-shirt. And we have this t-shirt. Probably similar, also probably 950. Yep. So this is a V-neck, black with some uh, white and gray little dashes and uh, sliding through there. I bought all, most of the stuff is larges. So I got this one here. This has a sale, a clearance tag for 7.99. This was considered like a male, like a boyfriend cut shirt. So it is cut large. Again, I wear camisoles under everything that I wear, but this will have a nice cami. It'll lay pretty cool. So we have that. And I also like my shirts long. Although I'm a little chunky right now, I'm also pretty tall for a girl. I'm five foot eight. So I, I shirts after a while, after you dry them like twice, even if you let them air dry, they, they like, look at this. All my stuff stops like, three inches above my waist because I have a longer torso than most and long legs 
Makes no sense. I don't know. So then I have this t-shirt, stripes, horizontal stripes, which is not good for someone as chunky as myself. <laughs> and then I got a couple camis. I did get these in large. Hopefully I can fit them. I have one mint green colored cami. Nothing earth shattering to see there. I got one black one. These were $3.50, by the way. And they're not body shaper. There's no bra or anything inside, just in case that's what you're looking for. Because I do have quite a few with that extra support. I have another t-shirt here. It has a nice design, white and black. Is it black? Yes, it is black. I had to dim my lights. It's, they come in too hot over here for the camera. I can't wait till I can figure out what kind of nice camera to get. This says $17.94. I wonder if I actually paid $17.94 for it. I did. Okay. I paid $17.94 for it. But I think it was worth it. I think it's really cute. Nice design. It's kind of long. And again, I think I can get a cami underneath there. It'll be nice and comfy. Because I'm hoping that I can get away with some of this stuff for work. <laughs> Awkward. Maybe with a nice sweater over top. A little sweater. Be fabulous. Yes. So I have another one of those boyfriend cut shirts. The other one was in an olive green. This is more of a coral and white. Why are they called boyfriend short shirts? The world may never know. Usually they call them that if it kind of like it's like a long. So I'm guessing that's why. We'll see if it's long because I haven't tried any of this stuff on. That's a whole other world. So another shirt has a little pocket right up in there. Kind of like an orangey coral t-shirt. So, you know, some of these things can be nice just to wear with jeans, kind of kick around in. Nice. A lot of them are nice and soft. But, like, I tried to get things like this. This is just like that white and black one with the design on it. You know, it kind of looks fancier, so it kind of looks like I put some effort into it at work. Um, again, I don't really want to buy anything pricey when I'm just going to go ahead. Another cami. This is in white. And then I'm going to drop all this weight because I've been there, done that. I know how to do it. I just let myself get out of control. Someone please holler if you hear me because I know I'm not the only one. Boy, I fluctuate in weight something crazy. So did you guys know that Old Navy sold Elf? Well, mine does in my immediate area. I do live in New Jersey. Hello, Max. He's back. This is Iva Kane Corso, by the way. He is a Mastiff. And he weighs about probably like 150, 160 pounds. He's a big boy. And now he's sitting on my feet. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm used to it though. So anywho, I've been looking for these for quite a while. They've been even sold out on the Elf website. They may have replenished it by now, but I haven't been on the Elf website in a little while. Which reminds me, I do have a $10 gift card, but that's not here nor there. I did overpay for these. I'm not even going to lie to you. I think I paid 8 bucks for each one. Uh, let's say, let's say, I can't, oh, blush pot, yeah, I paid $8 for each one of these, so $16, but if you think about it, $16 for eight blushes, I bought one in light, I believe, and one in dark, right, I hope I did that, yes, I did, I had to look, I'm, the outsides look exactly the same, but I know the colors on the inside aren't the same, that's why I was so confused. So I'm really, really excited about these because I've been all about the blush lately. And from my understanding, these, okay, this light right here, okay, these have removable trays in them. So all of these blushes can actually be popped out and can be replaced. I don't know why they're doing that. Like, I don't know if e.l.f. has, like, plans on creating interchangeable blush palettes or something that was the that was the dark and this is the light and they're they seem pretty fab and I've seen swatches I think that they are good so that's that as well this is the light so I'm really really excited about these they have the four colors one of them is more of like a nudie shade and each palette all has one that has some glitter in it. The rest of them are matte as it appears. Mm -hmm. So that is what I got from Old Navy. It's not a really exciting video, but I did get a couple people requesting saying they wanted to see what I purchased. 
I would like to say that I picked some pretty fabulous things. I think I did pretty good for $128. I think this will get me through the summer until I can drop some weight. I'm looking to drop about 30 pounds. And my husband is on board, so we are going to be doing it together, which is the easiest way to do it if anyone else has ever tried to lose weight. If your spouse or significant other, roommate, whatever have you, is not on the same page, it is very, very hard because they're all about the Doritos and you're trying to eat kale and it's awful. Don't do it. <laughs> but anywho... So that's what I have. I did recently post a picture on Instagram. I did buy a bunch of stuff. I was just promoted at work. I've been extremely blessed in, I've been in so many different careers in the last five years, and I've been extremely blessed in that I've always gotten a lot of support in the different career changes that I've made. So I did treat myself. I do not usually buy a lot, a lot of stuff. You guys see me buying makeup. A lot of it is drugstore. A lot of it is full of coupons and everything else. So I am extremely grateful and I'm really excited to share some of these things with you guys. And I also have one more thing. I have a little Shopkin guy. I was at five below and I was debating on if I wanted to like open this in its own video, but let's be honest, who's really gonna watch that? So I'm just gonna, <laughs> cause you know, like I'm not like graveyard girl, like bunny. She opened like 10 of them in a video. Now granted, I have one. I don't know how she bought, she bought an entire case of them. I'm like, if I'm flat a little pricey, this cost me $3. Like I know she lives down south, so maybe it's a little cheaper per shopkin. But it was $2.99 at five and below. So how much less? Because I mean, she lives in Texas. It's not like it's super cheaper. I mean, New Jersey, we, we have some high taxes, but that's, <laughs> I don't know about Shopkin prices in comparison to. So I'm just cracking this little guy open. It's so cute, right? So it just looks so cute. And it's like little household items. It's like little figurines, uh, Shopkins figurines. And I was like, let me just crack it open on camera. Like, why not? If you guys didn't want to watch it, you would have just stopped the video a while ago, right? So we got these two little recyclable guys here. So let's crack them open. See if we get any rare ones. Okay, so the first one looks like a little food item. Can you guys see that? So he's really cute. Excuse my nails because I haven't had a chance to clean them up yet since I painted them. So that's one. And they come in a little, little grocery basket. How friggin' cute. Hello, little Shopkin. And then there's like a little guide that tells you if you have a rare one or a common one or ultra rare. Mm hmm. So I don't, these are the only ones that I own. So I don't know if it's going to be like a thing for me. But I saw them and I love surprises. So let's see, this would be some sort of food, I would assume. Oh, it's fruit, Fifi fruit tart. And it is a, does it tell me? It's a rare one, yay! My first one was rare. How about that? See here, Fifi fruit tart, right there where my little finger is. And it has a little green dot next to it. It means it's rare. Yay. Oh, so exciting. Uh, kind of. I can't get in this. I just painted my nails, too. I feel some type of way about this. Mm. How am I going to recycle this now that I tore it up? Tear it. This one feels like a shoe. It is a shoe. Why, hello there. And this is, I believe, I've seen... Um, bunny open one of these so this is I think her name is Prami and this is a pink one so you are a shoe so this one is here's a shoe Prami pink and it's common so I got one rare and one common and they're gonna go inside the little basket where this is gonna go I have no idea I don't know, but it's cute. All right, YouTubers, it's been real. We had a great time. I made a mess. And if you like what you see, please subscribe, like my video, 
And let me know if there's anything you want to see besides a better camera. But, you know, that's going to take a little while. I kind of have to work on that. So, I'm really excited. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for following my Instagram, Michelle Renee Says. YouTube, Michelle Renee Says. And thank you for listening to what I says. I love you guys so, so much. You all have a wonderful weekend.